Hello, this is Growing with Griffins, and today we're talking about our winter garden. So today we're gonna to talk about overwintering plants that we're not quite ready to put into the ground. So we live in zone 6B, we live in Washington state, we live on the cold side of the mountains. Usually when people think of Washington, they think of the rainy side. We live in the dry, high desert side of Washington. We bought some perennial plants, but we weren't ready to put them in the ground. And so we're like, what do we do with them? And we came up with the idea of potting them into gallon pots and then planting them, planting the pot into our raised bed. So as you can see here behind me, I have all of these perennial plants in pots planted in the ground and then covered with sheep's wool. We've got some peonies that you can't see. We also have some hydrangeas and rust and sage and some asters. They're just gonna sleep in this raised bed for the winter. And then in the spring, they'll be ready to plant. We potted up these plants, put them in the ground. We made a potting soil of our homemade compost. We used our vermiculite and we also used sheep's wool, which worked so-so. Most people use the pellet, which I, I would recommend. We just had some free sheep's wool and so I didn't want to spend any money. So I just tried to like incorporate the sheep's wool into the potting mix to take the place of peat moss because peat moss is not sustainably sourced. And so we're trying to switch over to using just sheep's wool because it's a very sustainable and environmentally friendly source that can replace peat moss. Getting the wool mixed into the potting mix proved quite a challenge. So most people take those, the pellets, and they soak them in water. And those are like cut into tiny little bits, whereas the wool I had, I tried to cut it up as best as I could, but it only worked so-so. It was really challenging to work with. So I'm going to keep workshopping, figuring out how to use sheep's wool best. The best way and the way that most people use sheep's wool is as a mulch because it keeps plants really warm, it's very slow to break down, and then it also is a slow release nitrogen. So super excited to plant these in their future home in the spring, but for now they're happy sleeping in this raised bed. The other things we've done for our winter garden is we've left quite a bit of our plants. I didn't leave as much as I wanted because I kind of forgot, but we tried to leave quite a bit of our, our dead plant foliage so that they can be great homes for bugs throughout the winter like spiders and other beneficial insects that we want to, you know, maintain. If you leave up your foliage and then cut it back in the spring, they can live in the dead plants throughout the winter. So that's something else we've done for our winter garden. Final thing that we're doing in our winter garden is just working on all our compost. So we've got compost, wakashi, um, all those things. While we're sort of in like a slower season, we're just working on all of our amendments for next year. We showed you guys a video of a couple weeks ago of our backyard hot compost. And it's currently at 120, but it was all the way up to 145. It sat there for a little bit and then it started to drop. And when your compost starts to drop in, in temperature, that's when you flip it. So it, you wait till it heats all the way up and then it stays there for a while. Then it starts to drop. You flip it, wait till it heats all the way up. You do it about three times. And then you just let it sit the rest of the winter. Yeah, so that took, you know, took up almost two weeks to get to that point for this first, but it's, pr it's pretty cold here, so that makes sense. It's another part of our winter process as we're sort of, we have a lot of downtime and inside more, start working on, you know, packaging up my seeds a little bit more neatly so I can give them away to certain people. Um, because I save seeds, I have the opportunity to give them as gifts for Christmas, so I'm super excited about that. And starting in January, we're gonna do massive amounts of seed starting, we're gonna do winter sowing, indoor sowing, all that. So excited to show you guys that of our winter garden process but this is what we've got so far we got our overwintering our perennials leaving up all our dead plants so that the bugs can have places to live and then working on our our mainly on our compost and our bokashi thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this